Good morning, how's it going? We're getting up and getting going. Sophie's gone off to school. They have summer camp in the in the summer during summer break for the kids. And so she goes there and she practices with her choir friends and that's always a lot of fun. I think she I think she has found a new avenue to express herself in being in this uh, choir that she attends. And so that's really cool. Um, she'll be back after a bit, then we'll get ready, we'll head to Lafayette. Lafayette is a much easier drive than the drive we experienced the other day. The drive to Indy was challenging, difficult, uh, frustrating a bit because it's very, very crowded. Every, every lane of that highway is packed with cars, bumper to bumper traffic. You know, the bumper is, is the thing in the front and the back of the car to keep you from destroying your car when you run into someone slightly. Bumper to bumper means mom, 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 one right after the other. That's how the cars were in Indianapolis. And uh, <laughs> like I said, it was, it was kind of difficult. But today on the way to Lafayette, shouldn't be that way. And we'll go over there. And like I was telling you yesterday, I think we're going to eat. We'll go to Olive Garden and probably take my sister Suze with us and we'll enjoy the food. She'll borrow my car. She'll go off and do some, run some errands. And the girls and I, I have half a mind to go to a movie. There's one that seems like it's going to be funny. And I, I, it's, a, it's a romantic comedy. And you know, women are into rom-coms. <laughs> so, so that could be a lot of fun. So we'll probably go see that. Um, I don't know, cause cause Sue's, you know, if she if she backs out of going, we'll just change our plans, do things a little differently than we had planned. But for the most part, we're really into movies, so I think that we'll enjoy doing that. I think. Do you guys enjoy movies? Let me know what kind of things you like to watch. I think that that's a good opportunity to practice your English when you watch a movie. I think, though, the way that you do it in Brazil, I think you have um, dubbed movies. And I think that would be very hard <laughs> to improve your English. Watching someone whose mouth is moving and not saying the things that they're actually saying. I don't know. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you find your movies helpful or if you prefer watching the movies later when you can actually get a video and have things in English that you can enjoy. Let me know what you think about it. I think I think it's a good way to practice. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I hope that you're going to have a good day. There's Emerson. Emerson is always trying to be my buddy, so <laughs> it's good for me. Hey, your three things today that I put in this this um, talk that I just gave you. We have half a mind. I said that I had half a mind to go to a movie. When we have half a mind, it means that we're not quite decided. We're heading toward making that decision, but we haven't decided for sure. So I have half a mind to go to a movie. And most likely I'll decide before long. I used the phrasal verb back out if my sister backs out. And what that means is that when you have plans and then you decide, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm backing out. Okay. So it's again, two words that, you know, you can kind of seeing it mean that, but the phrasal verb tells you for certain that that means you're changing your mind. You're doing a different thing. And the last word I shared with you is into. We always think of into as just a preposition and no big deal. But into, in this case, I said they're really into movies. When you're really into something, you're really enjoying it. You might be into a person. If you're really into a person, you're maybe falling in love with them, becoming attracted to them. If you're into movies, you enjoy movies. If you're into heavy metal. Some of our people in the group are into heavy metal music. You're really enjoying that kind of music. So there's some words for you. Use these words, use these expressions, use these phrasal verbs and create some sentences today to see how you're going to use them. 
Let me know if you have questions about it. I'd be more than happy to help you. I always am. So make it a good day. It's your one chance at it. I hope it's good, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Beijão.